It is indeed my privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this momentous occasion of the fifth anniversary of the IRS Day. On behalf of the IRS Association and on my personal behalf, I wish to express my gratitude to Mrs. and Mr. Shahjah Shah, a financial commissioner railways, Mr. Shivdasan, our chief guest for the day and former financial commissioner railways, Mr. Pondos, and other distinguished retired financial commissioners and secretaries to government of India who are present here along with their sponsors, Mr. Vivek Binda, the motivational speaker, all our retired and respected members of the IRS family, my seniors, colleagues, friends, invited guests, spouses of all IRS family who are part of our extended family and who by their very presence here have made this evening very, very memorable. I wish to thank Mr. Shiv Dasan for his inspiring and very insightful keynote address and flagging very uh, important myths about the Indian railways. Sir, on behalf of the IRS family, I assure you that we shall work hard to break these myths and take IRS to a different height as you are envisaging us to do. I would also like to thank Mr. Shaitan Shah, our Financial Commissioner of Railways, who with his selfless commitment and an open door policy of letting anybody with no matter how small or big an idea is to approach him and be very confident that they will be heard. Uh, thank you, sir, for reposing that faith in us and we shall not let you down. I thank Mr. Follows. Uh, in fact, I thank Indian Railways for reassigning IRS to Mr. Follows and giving us the benefit of his wisdom and his years of experience which have been spoken today. Though very, very short words of wisdom, but I am sure, sir, most of us have been touched by you in our lives of our professional career. I would like to thank Mr. Bindra for a very, very stimulating and a very interactive session and for introducing us from Pradesvithi se Manosvithi ka safar. And I am sure all of us will be able to change our Pradesvithi with our Manosvithi to come out as a better human being and a professionally competent IRS officer. I would like to thank Mr. Mahapatra, additional member of finance, for reminding us to review our position as an IRS officer and to again introspect as to where we stand, especially after 92 years of our re-merging with the general budget, where we will be, uh, where we will be required to come up with a professional commitment and competence which should not be failing or uh, found wanting as compared to other financial services. I am grateful to Sri B. B. Verma, Advisor Accounts, who has very aptly emphasized the need for training and re-energizing ourselves with our competence so that we are able to deliver to the expectation of our seniors. My gratitude to Mr. Vaidilingam, Advisor Finance and President of the IRAS Association who with his continuous guidance and who are always working behind the, the curtains is always ready to sort out the smallest and the, the minutest issue related to the cadre and has worked extremely hard with his continued leadership and guidance to make this motion a big success. I would like to thank FNCO Northern Railway along with his team of officers and staff who are always working untiringly, giving their support for all the logistic arrangements to make any function in Delhi a success. My thanks to Abhilasha for that beautiful and soulful uh, Saraswati Vandana and of course Sarika for that commendable anchoring as always. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the management and the administration of Manisha Center for always willing to provide us with this magnificent venue to celebrate and be part of our IRSJ celebrations. I would now like to 
invite everybody to join us for our for dinner. Thank you so much.